Yo, so guys, welcome back to the video on the Misty Encryption channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a full guide, basically, on how to do combos in Rogue Demon. Uh, before I start this video, like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 50 likes in this video, and uh, yeah, I'm trying to get 10k by the end of the month. I don't know. A lot of people struggle at combos, but yeah, I have played lots of combo games, especially like Roblox combo games, so I know a lot about them. So uh, yeah, without wasting your guys' time, let's just, let's just get right into it. So with combos, the key factors are combo starters and combo extenders. So... Mostly combo extenders are the more important one because that's actually what keeps the combo going But combo starters are also quite important But the reason why they're not as important is because a combo star is that you just dashing and slashing just like that So that could be counted as a combo star But yeah, so basically I'm just gonna go through a few breathings I'm gonna show you guys what a combo starter is and what a combo extender So combo extenders are short range moves So for example the blue uh, blazing sun this would be a combo um, extender as it's not a range move as you guys can see basically range moves or well not range moves but moves where you can quickly get up to them quick those are combo starters so unknowing fire for example there's a combo starters watch you see i teleport straight on him so i can start an m1 combo here put it into a blazing sun and then you guys know what i mean but yeah so that's one of the combo starters with rengoku i'm pretty sure rengoku only has one combo star which is that but his actual main his ultimate which is obviously the rengoku one it's also counted as a combo star as you go really fast and you hit the enemy and you can really get close to them quite quick so uh yeah that's basically it so unknowing fire combo star blazing sun combo extender rengoku combo starter and then blooming flame blooming flame is kind of a weird move but i guess you could count it as a combo extender i guess but yeah i'll make a little combo right now um don't judge this is like my first time playing flame in a long time okay yeah thanks thanks jess plays thank you Alright, so that's basically like, it's just a small little combo that I did off the bat. So, uh, Rengoku doesn't have a lot of moves, so there's not much you can really do with him. But I guess you can do that, which is quite cool, I guess. But yeah, that's uh, that's Flame Breathing out the way, just to show you like a little demonstration of like, um, how combos work and stuff. But yeah, I'll switch to Insect next. Alright, so Insect is really different. It's probably one, I think it's my favourite uh, breathing style in the game, just because of how many moves you get and how much you can really do with Insect. But Insect has... I'd say two combo starters. No, no, yeah, yeah, two combo starters. So I'd say Beasting is quite a famous combo starter, but I think it's much better used in a combo extender. And then Caprice or Caprice, whatever, it's it's one of the best combo starters in the whole game, I think. It's a bit like a Flame Breathing one, but it's just much better and quicker. So I'll show you guys it real quick. All right, so here's a little combo that you can kind of do with Insect Breathing. All right, so that's like a little combo that I just made off the bat. I could also bring that back into Caprice again, and then also Dragonfly. So, I mean, the combos are literally crazy with Insect. That's why I love it so much. But anyway, that's like uh, how Insect works. So, two combo uh, starters, Caprice and Beasting. But I think Caprice is like the one that you're going to use 90% of the time, because it's way quicker, and it's way better. But yeah, anyway, that's basically it for the video. I hope I gave you guys kind of like a bit of a beginner's guide to how to do combos and how they work. So, just to get this, uh, just to say this again, a combo star is always a move that you can do from range to get up close with them. So it's not always just a range move. It's a move that you can use and then you can put that into an M1. And then you can start doing other close range moves. So anyway, that's basically it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. If you did, then hit the like button and the subscribe button. Because, yeah, it really motivates me more to make more of these videos and achieve my goal. But yeah, that's basically it for the video. Uh, yeah, peace out, boys.